Death Valley Days. Anima City, Colorado had a unique problem. Plenty of rich gold mines, but so much lawlessness, there was no way to ship the gold out. And the problem really became complicated when a notorious gunman came to town. It happened in 1880. We call it Halo for a Bad Man. Anima City, our new home, the beginning of a new life. I hope so, Port. It's been so long. I know it has. Now we can change all that. It's not much of a town yet, but it's got a future, and that's what we need. Port, what if these people won't believe that you've changed? They will. <laughs> here we are sitting here talking when we should be doing. You ain't gonna find nobody there, mister. What? I said you ain't gonna find nobody there. The marshal's dead. Got killed three weeks ago. Oh, I'm sorry. Neat and be. That happens to everybody that takes that job. Takes a fool to do it. Uh, you mean you don't have a marshal here now? Nope. Not much chance of anyone applying for the job, if you ask me. Well, what if somebody was to apply? Who would he apply to? Oh, that be the mayor of England, isn't he? And where would somebody find him? You mean right now? Right now. Oh, let me think. He'll either be over there in the saloon having breakfast, or he'll be down at the bank where his office is. Much obliged, friend. Mayor Angley? Yeah, that's right. I'd like to talk to you, sir. Would this be a public or a private matter? Private. Charlie, this has become my private office. Sit down. Now, sir, what can I do for you? My name is Stockton. I'd like to talk. Did you say Stockton? Yes, sir. Porter Stockton? The gunman? The Porter Stockton part is correct. The gunman, not anymore. Go on. Well, I understand you're looking for a marshal. I'd like to apply for the job. Isn't it a little strange that you would be looking for that kind of work? Yeah, I can, I can understand how that might strike you, sir. I've been accused of a lot of things in the past, generally bad things. And I was guilty of most of them, but... I've admitted that, paid the penalty. Now I'm just Porter Stockton, good citizen. You've got to believe that, sir. What makes you think that you could handle a marshal's job? Well, a couple of things. First, I'd be dealing with lawbreakers. I uh, know most of them personally. Having been one of them, I know how they think, how they feel, uh, what they'll do next. Second, I know that about the only thing they have any respect for is a gun. 
guess you've heard that I'm pretty familiar with guns. Well, they know that too. I don't think many of them would try to test me. Well, Mayor, you need a lawman, don't you? Yes, we need a lawman, and we need law. Anima City, you might say, is a dream of mine, and I believe we can build it into a big city. We have gold, and we have all the necessary resources to become big and important. But that same gold is drawing every outlaw in the West towards us, and we haven't found a way yet to control them. And until we do, Anima City is going to be standing still at the crossroads, or perhaps just fade away. Well, then give me a chance to prove myself. Nobody else wants the job, but I want it. I want it bad. Well, Mr. Stockton. Mayor Angley, you impressed me. All and... right. All of you, get your hands up. Get them up! All right, now. Get the money out of your pockets and put it on that table. Come on, now, move! Barkeep, get that cash box and dump it on the table. I said, everybody put their money on the table. Now, look, young fella, I need my money a lot more than you do. You got a pretty good haul right there on the table now. Why don't you just take their money and forget about me? Well, look, your money's no different from the rest. Now, you get it out. Gentlemen, it's your money. Sir, in my 30 years of military service, I've never seen such a deed of sheer courage. Captain Hart, I agree with you completely. George, will you lock that so-called bandit up in the back room for the time being? I'm Captain Hart, sir, at your service. Gentlemen, I have the honor of presenting to you the new Marshal of Anima City. Oh. Porter Stockton. Stockton? Porter Stockton? What? Do you realize what this man is? He's a gunman, a killer! Why, he looked like a pretty fair lawman to me just now. Believe me, Captain, that's all changed. Your kind never changes. I'm asking for a chance to be judged fairly. I've made my decision, Captain. You're the marshal. Take over. Thank you, Mayor. Well, the first thing is to remove temptation from the hands of hotheads. From now on, nobody in Anima City wears a gun. That's ridiculous. I refuse to listen to such nonsense. You boys are breaking the law. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute, man. Don't listen to him. He can't make you do this. Remove your gun belt. I use this gun, Stockton, against the enemies of our country. I consider you to be one of them. You have one more minute, and I shoot you. I'm going to kill you for this, Stockton. The gun. Good morning, Mayor. Good morning, Marshal. How are things going? Oh, fine, I guess. We haven't had any trouble for two days now. No, and I don't think there will be. Everybody in town, except uh, Captain Hart and some of his friends, think you're doing a very good job. Yes, sir, I think we're through with trouble for a while. I'm not so sure about that. I'll be back in a little while. Well, if it don't look like my old friend, Port Stockton. Hello, Clay. 
Yeah, but it can't be. This dandy's wearing a lawman's badge. Or as soon as shoot a lawman. Look at him. Sidearms are against the law in Anima City, Clay. You can check them in at my office up at the end of the street. Pick them up when you leave town. <laughs> well, I'm sure you're the man I used to ride with, but you used to think laws were made for breaking. Well, that's all changed now. Changed? <laughs> I get it. You're a smart one, Port, getting yourself made marshal. But you gotta cut me and the boys in. On what? <laughs> that's gotta be the goal. Sure. They got a wagon that to the railhead. That's 30 miles away. And you're the marshal. You'll be riding herd on a wagon load of gold. You think I became marshal so that I could get my hands on that gold? <laughs> I know it. Well, you're wrong. I know you, Port. I know how you operate. If you're going to hang around Animus City, you're going to obey the laws. Now drop your gun belts. Now, like I said, we're declaring ourselves in. I'm cutting you out. <laughs> you boys know better than that. Now get your hands away from them. All right, you're not proving nothing. There's 30 miles of badlands. You gotta take that wagon through to that rail siding. And somewhere along there, we'll be waiting for you. You and the gold. I think about that a long time, Clay. You won't have a chance. <laughs> oh, Port. We don't look worried, you do. If you change your mind, you know where you can find us, huh? in this mayor of this town, I'm not going to let you do it. To try it alone would be just plain suicide. You worried about me or the gold? Yes, as long as that possibility. If I could get that gold shipment through without the help of a single armed guard, this town could begin to grow, become important the way you want it to be. Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it could happen. Have you talked with uh, Palmer, the mine superintendent, about your plan? No, but... He'll go along with me. He doesn't have any choice. If the mine can't ship the gold out, they might as well close down. I guess I don't have any choice either, do I? All right, go ahead. Keep moving, I've got you covered. Keep moving, Stockton. me, remember? You changed your mind. You're cutting us in. You had it pretty well figured out the other day. He's lying. I say we get rid of him. You shut up. We listen to what he's got to say, then I decide. You're making a big mistake. Now, you were right, Clay. We've had the same dream ever since we first started out together. Make one big haul. Well, that dream's just about to come true. Just me and the gold. I told him it was a big idea I had to get the shipment across the Badlands. You always were the smoothest, Port. What do you want us to do? Shut up! Uh, what do you want us to do, Port? Well, you fellas find yourself something to carry the box in. And about halfway between Anima City and the railhead, you meet me. I'll be driving a rig with a single horse. I just heard you're gonna try to get the gold shipment through by yourself. People talk too much. It's a good plan, Em. Why alone, Port? After all these years that we've been married, you're still a puzzle. That's why you married me. 
The farm boy who wanted to be king of the mountain. Well, I thought you changed when you took this marshal's job. I did. Oh, if I only could be sure. You're not sure whether my plan means getting the gold through or running away with it myself, huh? Trust me, Em. Yeah. I love you, Port. Right now, I'm asking for trust. Don't go, Port. Em. I can't believe what I just heard, Engley. Now, you're responsible for that gold more than anyone else in this town. You certainly can't turn it over to a bandit like Stockton. What's the matter with you people? Are you all so blind you can't see that Will he's going to get away with the gold? Calm down, Captain. You're talking about the marshal. I wouldn't trust him with a Confederate dollar, much less a fortune in gold. Now listen to me, all of you. If the laws won't protect decent people from thieves like Stockton, I say we take the law into our own hands. I can lock you up for that. You better get in out of the sun till you cool off. Now get out of here. I'm warning you. You'll never see your gold or him again. I've told you. Pay no attention to his ranting, Stockton. We all trust you. Thank you. No thanks necessary. You've earned it. But don't throw that trust away. Can't buy it with gold. Good luck. I'm so glad you're here. I'm frightened. Oh, now, now, Mrs. Stockton. Everything's going to be all right. I'm not sure. A few minutes ago, just after Port drove through town, that man, Captain somebody, he was watching Port leave. And then he ran to his horse, and he rode into the alley, and then he turned behind the buildings the same direction Port went. And he acted very strange. And he frightens me. Oh, I'm sure it's nothing, but uh, I'd better have a look. Now, you wait right here and don't you worry. Meet you back at the cabin, Port. Anybody got any ideas about opening that box before I get back will have me to face. We'll wait. That's right. You wait.
the lock broke. Go ahead, George, open it up. There's none of the stones. But where? There was nothing in the wagon. I don't know. But let's find out. They'll believe me when I'll tell them a leopard doesn't change his spots. Once a thief, always a thief. You don't understand. I tricked Clay Allison and these boys. They think I gave them the gold, but I didn't. Liar. I saw you switch those boxes with Allison. You're going to meet the gang later. There was nothing in that box I gave them but rocks. They were the riders you heard go by down below. Probably found out about the trick and came out looking for me. Well, you're not going to pull any tricks on anyone anymore, Stockton. You're making a big mistake and wasting a lot of time. Next time, I shoot to kill. I didn't give that gold to Clay Allison, no matter what you think you saw. Oh. Well, where is it? Under the seat. More tricks. There's nothing there but the fake box Allison gave you. All right, I'll show you. Stockton was one bad man who never changed. I saw him give that gold away to his gang. You fool. That was only part of his plan. But I saw them. What you saw was nothing more than a strong box full of rocks being loaded. And that's what he gave Allison. The gold is under the front seat. We put it there last night. There you are. But why? Stockton was a changed man, and he wanted to get the gold through, and that's what he was doing until you came along. Oh, I, I didn't know. No one told me. I feel sorry for you, Captain Hart. That shot made you famous, because every fast gun and boy in the country that wants to build himself a reputation will be gunning for you. The man who shot Porter Stockton. I didn't know. I didn't know. Thus the violent death of a gunman. While no one will ever know what was in Porter Stockton's mind the day he was killed, this much we do know. The Denver and Rio Grande Railway bypassed Anima City and built a line through Durango. Durango became the county seat. Anima City faded into obscurity. Next week, another true drama from our American past.